A few years ago, we made a video about a 12V remote controller. It was liked by many people and is still watched by many people. At the same time, we also found many questions from the audience's comments. Now we have reorganized it, mainly to answer the audience's doubts on the original video. The doubts are as follows. Where is the power supply part? How to wire it? Explain the idea of wiring. Let everyone use this controller better. This is a 12 volts 433 MHz RF remote controller. There are two types of shells. The shell has corresponding openings. It is convenient for the wiring connection of the controller. There are also many types of remote controls. You can choose to match it as you like. Compatible with EV1527 remote control with a frequency of 433 MHz. We measured the specific range of the power supply voltage, which is 10 volts to 14 volts. We find the positive and negative poles of the power supply marked on the back. Here we use a lithium battery. The lithium battery is marked with 11.1 volts. It is the range of voltage that can be used. Connect to our power supply. This is the wiring of the power supply part. The LED light. It will light up when it is connected to the power supply. We lead out a line. Once these two lines are connected, the light will light up. The 12 volts remote controller is like our hands. It controls the connection and disconnection of these two lines. Take out the controller. Let's talk about what the following three symbols mean. COM represents the common terminal of the relay. NO represents the normally open terminal of the relay. When the relay is not working, the NO port is disconnected from the COM port. NC represents the normally closed terminal of the relay. When the relay is not working, the NC port is closed to the COM port. We connect it. Let everyone see the phenomenon more clearly. Our control logic is, when the relay works, the light turns on. When the relay does not work, the light goes out. So we have to connect this normally open terminal. You can also choose according to the actual situation. The best one is the one that suits you. Finally, we connect the power supply. The wiring is completed. This is a wiring method for external power supply. This wiring method does not stipulate the power supply of the connected device. It just controls the switch of the circuit. I will introduce the wiring method of shared power supply to you later. The power requirement for the connected device is also in the range of 10 volts, 14 volts. After connecting the wires, we start pairing the remote controller and the selection of pairing mode. 
The following is a detailed explanation. Let's restore the factory settings first. Press the learning button 8 times to clear all the previously paired remote controllers. Below I will show the effects from pressing 1 to pressing 7 times. Later, you can freely choose the required pairing mode, according to the actual situation. All pairing modes are for different usage scenarios. For example, interlock mode. For one button control of multiple controllers to turn on and off at the same time. Need to pay attention. If you press the learning button eight times, all the previously paired remote controllers need to be repaired. This is a 12 volts controller with power connected. Take out a 12 volts LED lamp. Connect the LED lamp to the power supply of the controller. 
The LED lamp is also on. Next, we need to borrow this power supply. Then build two wires for on and off. We first connect the two negative poles. Directly control the positive pole. As long as the positive pole of LED lamp is connected to the positive pole of the power supply, the light will turn on. Let this part be handed over to the relay. Let the remote control control the relay to help us control. Connect the positive pole of the LED lamp to the common end of the relay. Let a wire from the positive pole of the power supply. Connect it to the normally open end of the relay. Then when the relay works, the two wires are connected. The LED lamp is also on. Complete our goal. This is the wiring principle of the shared power supply. This is the wiring diagram. You can read it several times to deepen your understanding. At this point, you have fully mastered all the uses of this 12 volts controller and the wiring principle. In the future, when you encounter some devices controlled by 12 volts power supply, you can turn it into a remote control.